All right, we are at two days after using the epilator versus the shaver. Ah, wow! <laughs> so scared. That first one was shocking. And these are the results. This is the epilator side. Pretty good. And then this is the shaving side. If you look closely, you'll see some of the stubble already growing back in. My hair does grow relatively fast. All right, and here are my legs. So that's ingrown hair. This is the epilated side. So where it's missed, you'll see that there are a few hairs popping out. But on the other side, I feel like there's more stubble. So the hair on the shaved side definitely looks like it's growing faster. We'll check in again in a few more days. Hi, it is now a week since I have done the epilator. I think that this might be the actual final update for this video because I do need to rid myself of the body hair. Personal preference, of course, you do you boo. I wanna show you my underarms first. So here's the epilated side. You'll see that there's actually very minimal growth. And I think some of that might actually be from parts that I missed. So now I wanna show you the side that I shaved and I was actually kinda of shocked. So here's the side that I shaved. See how much more hair growth there is? Epilator, definitely, if you want the longest time in between hair removal is the way to go. To remove the hair, whether it be through waxing, using an epilator, you know, honestly, I think the epilator would be my personal preference because it's less messy. You don't have the sticky wax, you don't have the sticky sugars. So I do feel that that might be the way, my preferred method, actually. So now let's check out my legs. So here are my legs. Uh, this is the side that I had shaved the right side and you'll see that yeah the hair is definitely growing back it's growing back at different rates though and i think that's you know pretty normal at least normal for me all right so this is the shave side and then this is the epilated side so i don't know if it's because the way that i did it it might have torn out some of the hair as opposed to removing some of the hair but i do think that overall though there is definitely more hair growth on the shave side than the epilated side. Let's check out my knee area. Definitely, yeah, definitely it grows back faster. You see how long these hairs are? Mind you, those also might be parts that I missed. Overall, I do feel that if you are in a rush and you're in a pinch, the epilator would not be the way to go. You would definitely want to do something like shaving if it's something that you need to be done like that. Uh, the epilator does take a bit more time than if you're shaving. However, I think that if you have the time to do it and it's, it's something that's kind of almost oddly satisfying, you might enjoy it. It didn't really hurt that much. It was more shocking at the beginning. And I was talking to one of my sister reps and she did use it around her chin area, although it did not... I don't think it said that do not use on your face, but I did remember reading on the Avon um, rep group that you shouldn't use it on your face. So that is completely up to you. I don't have a lot of chin hair, so I don't think I'm gonna do my chin at all, but I will continue doing my legs, my underarm area. I might even try doing my arms. So I definitely think that the proof is in the pudding, especially in the underarm area. You can really, really see the difference in the hair growth. Again, on my legs, the epilated side does feel smoother, but I think it's because of the hair growth more so than any. Anything. I really like the fact that it takes longer for the hair to come back, which is definitely a huge bonus. That way I don't I could spend less time doing it and more time just doing other things. If you want to get one of these products or if you want to learn more, make sure you do go to the link down in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you do give this video a big fat thumbs up and we'll see you in the next one. And as always, guys, until next time, stay well, stay safe, and stay fantastically kind. I love you. Bye!